Hello and welcome back to Linus and Chuck, where today I'll be teaching you how to defend yourself with double nunchucks. Please keep in mind that for very obvious reasons, this video is for entertainment purposes only. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So let's say you're casually walking down the street minding your own business when all of a sudden someone approaches you and wants to attack you. However, in that moment, you remember that you are always carrying your nunchucks with you, so you pull those out and you have those ready. However, if you're only carrying one set of nunchucks with you, you should either click up here or check for the link in the description below to see my video on how to defend yourself with only one set of nunchucks. However, if after you've pulled out your one set of nunchucks, you have another moment where you realize that you've also brought your second pair of nunchucks with you, this tutorial is for you. If you're anything like me, you might instantly break out your double nunchuck moves using wrist rolls and throws and a whole bunch of other stuff. However, in this situation, that might not be the best thing to do. Instead, what you should be doing is taking out your nunchucks and holding them both in front grips so that if you stick out your thumb, you're pointing the chain part of the nunchuck and not the ends. Take your nunchucks and position them in front of your body like this. Next, swing your nunchucks so they go up underneath your arms into a tuck. So you're taking your nunchuck, swing it upwards and tucking so that the nunchuck ends up staying in that position. Now you're in the proper starting position for a strike and tuck. From this position, you'll be able to perform quick and easy strikes, allowing you to defend yourself. To do this, start off by practicing with only one nunchuck. With your nunchuck tucked underneath your arm, you're going to want to pull it forward and release it. So you're going to want to release the nunchuck from underneath your arm so that the nunchuck is now freely hanging. Use that momentum to swing the nunchuck around. So you want the nunchuck to be released, go through the air, swing around so that it's striking downwards before coming back to be tucked underneath your arm. When learning the tuck, try to grab the topmost part of the nunchuck, so this portion right here, as you're trying to bring it underneath your arm, because the end part hurts more and the chain will not allow you to get a proper grab. Once you've learned it on each side individually at first, you can put them together in order to perform striking tucks with both sides. I know what you're thinking now. What if, like in the movies, there are 15 people coming after you at the same time? Strike and tucks could possibly disable that many people at once. Well, there's a different solution for you. Instead of performing vertical strikes, what you want to do instead is perform horizontal strikes. So you're swinging your nunchucks across your body horizontally. All you have to do for this is once again, when you're holding your nunchucks in front grips, is bring them across your body to the opposite side with one hand going over the other. From here, you can perform stalls on the outside. So you're letting your nunchucks slow down so you can change direction on the outside, bring them across your body before performing shoulder redirects. What you want to do here is bring the top of your nunchuck on each side to your shoulder, allowing the chain to wrap around and reflect off. So once again, with both sides, what you want to do is you bring them across your body and touch the top part of the nunchuck to your shoulder so that the chain wraps around and the other end of the nunchuck can swing before reflecting off to go outwards. This will give you that nice sweeping attack to defend yourself from crowds of attackers. A slightly more advanced double nunchuck strike that you can do that goes horizontally is this one. For this one, you will be positioning both of your nunchucks on the same side. From here, the hand that is at your waist will strike upwards to the same shoulder on which you're holding it. The hand that is on your shoulder will strike downwards and go to your opposite waist. What you'll be doing is alternating which nunchuck strikes upwards and which nunchuck strikes downwards, while also alternating which nunchuck is at your shoulder and which nunchuck is at your waist. At your waist and shoulder on each side, you will once again be performing redirects. In this case, for your shoulder, you'll be touching the top part of the nunchuck to your shoulder, allowing the other end to reflect off and continue swinging. For your waist, you will be swinging the nunchuck downwards across your body, so the nunchuck is horizontal with the ground. Then once you touch the top portion of the nunchuck to your waist, the other end will swing around, reflect off, and continue spinning. While these moves may be great when you're starting out, if you keep practicing nunchucks, you'll be able to learn some crazier moves that will not only scare away your attacker, but also impress them. So I hope that you learned something today. Be sure to subscribe and check out the various other nunchuck related tutorials that I have on my channel.